Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. So NetGas is continuing to follow is continuing to follow its trend channel, and I may have to make a modification to the chart because we are selling off so strongly here. I mean, it's no surprise really in a way three, especially as we are still in the green support area. So this is the area that NetGas can use in a third wave. We are still oversold. We now see a slight bullish divergence on the four hour chart, for example. But again, we are still in the trend channel. Um, obviously, we had to be ready for a turnaround already up here when we came close to that support area and touched it. But we never broke out of this channel. Um, I had a few people who said they closed shorts way too early, complained a bit because I said it was already oversold here. Um, I mean, you make your trading decisions. This is only analysis. And I did present this green support area. And this obviously can extend out this stuff. And if we are in a trend channel, well, I don't understand. I mean, you can do what you want, but why would you take profits if we are still in a trend, in an active trend? Isn't it much more useful to just move the stop loss further into profit if you're concerned about, um, lo you know, losing out and, you know, whatever? Uh, isn't that the better option? But it's up to you. I mean, we can only, I can only talk about what I see in the charts. And I think it's been really, really accurate. Um, a lot of people have started to be bullish hear about net gas and especially because of the situation in the world market but the analysis has continuously shown that lower prices are expected primarily and um, i'm i have been very bearish on net gas and i showed you now in the last few weeks weeks several times these indicators that are still pointing in my opinion toward towards further downside i mean here on the on the weekly chart yeah we had that um, bearish crossover on the macd we are still seeing an, an increase in negative momentum. Absolutely. We see on the monthly here, the second month in a row, massive red candle on the MACD. There's certainly a sign that this will carry on for a little while, in my opinion. Um, yeah, the four day chart also doesn't show any sign of recovery. On the daily chart, we now see a slight reduction in negative momentum. And that is finally, finally, bit too early to say that but finally together with the eight hour bullish crossover that we see here on the MACD and the bullish divergence on the RSI maybe a first signal finally that we are starting to reverse and that this is a potential bottom forming but other than the indicators we have not really any signal so without price action following you know we are still just going to extend down and continue the count further and if we continue much more then i have to assume that we may not even get a fourth wave to the upside um, but at the moment i do um, i just want to show you a slight modification to the count um, oh by the way the one would is actually sitting here so that's the current count um, where the wave three can still go down i mean i initially assumed in a c wave here this would be an ending diagonal the way this is coming down is actually really looking impulsive. And as it's looking impulsive, um, you know, this could even reach here the 278 level. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too surprised, even though, you know, at some point you actually need to get some sort of corrective move up. I mean, we are really, really, um, if we go to the daily again, we are now really, really oversold here on the um, daily RSI. In a similar way, in a similar way that we've been oversold here, yeah, um, even a little bit more actually, when we made that nice move to the upside, okay. So again, I mean, I can only present you a picture here when I make the video. Uh, in no video that I've made, we have seen the way a signal that wave three stopped. There was just no signal. I said it could be finished there, but without a signal, I mean, I, I've, I've seen people, People write then, you know, they went long or whatever, or um, they closed their shorts. But why do you close your shorts without a signal? Yeah, I mean, those waves can always extend. It's not that if you have five waves, it definitely needs to be finished. No, we have the minimum requirements completed. But then obviously as a trader, you need to be watching the chart, um, wait for a breakout or whatever. Um, this is the larger support area. We are still in it, okay? So this is the area theoretically where it should turn around. But looking at the latest price action here, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to go to 278, but at the latest there, it should start to move up at the latest there. And I can only repeat what I said in the previous videos, you know, don't just, I mean, it's up to you, but I wouldn't just go long here or 
uh, close my shorts because as I said, as long as we still are below the descending trend line, which is perfectly defined, this is just gonna carry on and the break of the trend line will be a first sign that we are going up. And I think a break of the trend line would be a really good signal because we are really now oversold on the daily. So any sort of sentiment shift can lead probably to quite a significant way forward to the upside. But we're not there yet, you know, we're not there. It can start at any moment, but it could also still drop another 20%. As long as you are below the descending trend line, um, the trend hasn't shifted. It's very simple. Yeah, the trend is your friend until the end. It's a stupid, you know, saying, but it's actually quite quite right. Um, and uh, the MACD on the monthly still, I mean, this can still sell off another 50%, but I don't think it will sell off another 50% without seeing a way for recovery. So I'm still looking in the end. It depends on the, you know, what what is that chart? What are we doing here to the upside? I mean, anybody who's investing long-term in net gas, for me, you know, these are amazing entry opportunities, also long-term, um, because even if it can come down much lower, look at where we come from, yeah, come from around that B wave high was at $10, yeah. So we've dropped quite a lot. We've dropped quite a lot. Um, let me zoom out a bit. But, you know, I wouldn't at the moment put more, you know, if I was going long, long term, I wouldn't put more in than, you know, a little money for um, a first tranche or batch because this can still drop lower. And the monthly MACD um, is still pointing towards further downside. So the reason why we talked about this support area is it's the 78.6% retracement at 326. Okay, so and below that we've got still the 88.7 FIB at 245. I mean, I currently look at this being the end of the, let's call it the bear market, the, the wave two correction in which we are, the 88.7 FIB. So the way this looks, it could be we come down to the 326 level, move up, possibly reach here the 61.8, bounce off and reach the 88.7 in a last sell off wave. I will keep an eye on that for you. I will keep you updated. I hope you liked the update about net gas. If you did, please hit a like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.